Hey folks, thanks for joining me indoors. Today we're going to try and make a decent pot of rice. You know, I've either undercooked it, overcooked it, or even burnt the darn thing uh, in the past. And you know, nothing worse than you know eating burnt rice. So what I'm going to try to do today is get a benchmark uh, for this cooking process. So we're going to cook one cup of rice, and we'll see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to line this pot with uh, parchment paper. Um, I've seen it done before, you know, for Dutch ovens, and it makes it a lot easier to clean up. So I'm going to try that first. Um, I'm going to try and get this line, get a mold, and get it in the pot. Looks like we got it done. As you can see, everything is all lined up and nice. Um, I was going to make sure that the lid can close all the way. Yeah, it looks perfect. So I'm going to throw on this uh, one cup of rice. Uh, this is jasmine rice. Um, from everything that I've seen, the ratio for you know, for cooking this rice is one one part rice, one and a half part water. So I'm just going to throw in uh, you know a cup and a half of water in here uh, to get this thing going. All right, give it a little swirl. Make sure it's all not sticking together. I think we're good to go. We'll go ahead and close this up and let's get the firebox ready. So I haven't used this nano for a while. I've been doing, you know, I've been using the uh, the freestyle and also uh, uh, the original firebox, the five inch one. So, you know, since we're doing this indoors, I haven't used it in a while. Let's go ahead and use this. Uh, I'm also going to use a Trangia burner today um, since it's, you know, something that I'll probably use because I got a more consistent uh, heat source from it. Uh, not to say that I won't be able to use, you know, um, any other types of fuel. But we'll give, uh, we'll give the old Trangia burner uh, a good burn today. So I'm going to let this uh, trangio bloom, um, so what we can do is, you know, get the maximum heat source uh, from it and then we'll throw the pot on, get it to a boil, and then once you get it, you know, once we get it to a boil, then we'll, we'll go ahead and throw the uh, simmering on. Right, it's been about about four and a half four and a half minutes and it looks like we've got a good rolling boil um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw the simmering on this is the first time I'm really doing this with a trangia so I'm not sure exactly how much heat I'm gonna need um, but I'm gonna go ahead and close this up uh, to about you know whatever I would say about a quarter let's start off with that and see how it goes So I'm still hearing a little bit of a rolling boil, which I really don't want. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and close that simmering just a little tiny bit, probably half of what I have it open now. And hopefully that should do it. So that's really what you want to see. You want to see steam coming out because you know the whole entire thing is you know to get all of that water, all that moisture to evaporate. And it looks like we've got a good bit of steam here, even though that that simmering is just just slightly open. So we're about at the. Uh, five minute mark after you know it started boiling so uh, I think it's like either five or six minutes somewhere around there so let's go ahead and check this and see so total time right now is roughly about mm, between 10 and 12 minutes I would say somewhere around there and look at that it looks like it's yeah it looks like it's uh it's pretty much there. I'm gonna go ahead and check. I'm gonna poke down at the bottom here and see if there's any water left at the bottom. Really, you want all that to evaporate. Looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and, uh, you know, take it off uh, the heat and uh, just let it sit. In other words, gonna let it sit for another five minutes just so that it kind of, you know, cools down and finishes off cooking. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, get this fire box and everything else here. All right, so we've let it sit for about five minutes. Now it's, you know, the moment of truth, right? It looks good from on top. <laughs> let's see what it looks like from the bottom too. So let's see what this, uh, what this, uh, what this looks like. go ahead and fluff it up right now just to get uh, more moisture from the bottom um, so it evaporates a little bit more so so I'm gonna go ahead and fluff this thing. fluffing is a very important part of making this I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a little taste here just to make sure and see everything's cooked. Mmm, that's pretty good. This jasmine rice has got a wonderful aroma to it. You know, that's the reason why I like to use it a lot. But, you know, the, the rice is perfectly cooked and I can tell because I don't get that greeniness and I don't get that mushiness. So it's, so I know at least the top of the rice is cooked perfectly. Let's go ahead and dish it out. Here it is, moment of truth. Let's see if we, uh, if we did our job today. I don't know about you guys or or what your experience is with, with the uh, transit burner, but you know, because of that that heat source is so focused, you know, you, you always get burning. Hopefully we don't get too much burning on the bottom of this. You know, it's nothing worse than, you know, tasting, you know, cooked rice that's been burnt in the underneath. So 
So let's let's see how well we did today. Looking too bad. We do have some burn burn marks down at the bottom, but it isn't bad at all. Best part about this is the cleanup. All you got to do is take that parchment paper out, and you're done. All right, let's inspect this rice. Let's take a good look at it. Gosh, it smells so good. And there we go, folks. Looks like we were actually successful today. Rice is cooked. It's not soft or breaking apart. It's still holding together. When I tasted it, I didn't feel that gritty, grainy taste. You know, when you bite into the rice, if it's undercooked, so it's is just to that point, just to that perfect spot. Yeah, I'll definitely use this technique in the future. So to wrap it all up, you know, with, uh, with some of the ratios here, uh, if you're just using like the white, uh, long grain rice, it's uh, one part rice, two, uh, two parts water. For jasmine, you need a little bit less water, so it's only one and a half on the water. But for brown rice, you're definitely going to have to up the water content because it's really under processed. All right, thanks again for joining me. If you like this content, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please post them in the comments area. And again, have a good burn.